767 pieces. 900 stickers. 40 layers. Depending on how you count it. I've been hinting at this for a while. And I'm very happy to show you Aton's Nebula version 2.0. My original copy of Aton's Nebula is actually in the hands of Arline, who goes by Twisty Puzzling here on YouTube. He's recently managed to solve the thing, um, but as he was doing that, he let me know on uh, over email that it was a bit of a pain to turn. <laughs> and that was actually a good kick in the pants for me. It got me back into SolidWorks to redesign the nebula. And now it turns much better. It's also a lot more solid, but not fully solid. Uh, it has a modified mechanism. The mechanism is both deeper and just more robust. In the eight years since I started my engineering career, I haven't really designed all that many puzzles. And in the meantime, I've learned a lot. <laughs> and so I've applied all that to this and all the other puzzles that I recently posted on iMaterialize. And I think it shows. Uh, it's not exactly finger-trickable, but it does have a lot of pieces. Um, but you'll notice that as I'm turning this, there aren't any big gaps that open up between the parts. That was a big problem on the old version. I've also completely solved the problem of pieces popping out of their orbits, or pieces popping out of place. Uh, This copy of the puzzle is already spoken for. And I want to thank A.M. Cuber for his sponsorship of the first copy of this puzzle. And I say first copy because I'm going to be putting this for sale on my iMaterialize shop. You'll find a link to it in the description. I must warn you. This puzzle has a lot of pieces, and it takes a long time to assemble, and an even longer time to sticker. Breaking it in takes effort. Um, however, as soon as you get the first turn going, it turns beautifully. Uh, it's worth the work, and I think it's also worth the money. Uh, if you are into big puzzles, if you are down for a fun assembly challenge. Go for it. You will not be disappointed. This is the new version of Aton's Nebula. Thank you for watching.